Hey guys, Adrian here for Digital Dojos at digitaldojos.com and I am on the new Blue Yeti microphone. Uh, I'm going to have a review of this upcoming uh, and a, you know, a video on this. It's, it's an old product, but it's definitely one that I want to give my opinions on. It's a new microphone. It's a USB microphone by the guys at Blue, the Yeti edition. I got this on Woot.com. Uh, you can still order it on Amazon and other sites alike. Anyways, I want to test it out for this video. Uh, it sounds really great quality. Anyways, I'll talk again more about it in a future video. Today, I want to talk about AirPlay, and more specifically, an app called Air Server. This is an app I've been using for a while. It's up here in my menu bar on the Mac. I believe it's also available for Windows. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I think it's a cross-platform sort of uh, version that you can find it on you know multiple operating systems, I should say. But Air Server is what allows me to record my iOS devices. And I know a lot of you ask this. A lot of people ask, how do I record my iOS app reviews and stuff like that? And um, a lot of my work outside of YouTube is involved in app reviews. I do a lot of client services. I review a lot of apps for developers, make them videos, stuff like that. And Air Server is what I use to do that. Now, there is another app out there called Reflections, which is pretty simple too, and I, I do like it. It has uh, some flexibility. It also allows you to use the iPhone kind of framework, so you can have the iPhone portrait there, so you can see what it would physically look like on an iOS device. Uh, not physically, but you can see a, a representation of what it would look like on an iOS device. But this Air Server just gives you a window. It's really easy and straightforward. You can go ahead and download it. I'll leave links in the blog description. There's a free version. There's You can get a trial, I believe, and there's also a paid version, but it's really cheap. It's affordable. I believe when I got it, it was like 15 bucks super affordable and again if you're doing uh you know videos and stuff like that it pays for itself uh opening up air server here you can see about air server check for updates launch on startup troubleshoot edit rebroadcast services that's really useful if you are like having issues with wi-fi and it's not picking it up on your ios device and preferences so let's go ahead and look at preferences uh, opening up the preferences for air server also you can go into your system preferences and it makes a little tab there you can see here I'm on the latest version of 4.6.4. It has your computer name right here, and that's what you'll see on your iOS device. You can opt a, you can set uh, a password here, so you can have it opt for a password when you try to log in or AirPlay to your device. Uh, this is really cool for a number of reasons. Um, so one, you can be gaming on your iMac screen. You can be gaming on your you know MacBook screen if you want to take the experience that you have on an iPhone and launch it over to your iMac or your Again, your MacBook, whatever you want to do, it, it's kind of a cool way to play games. It's a cool way to present stuff. So maybe you have Keynote and you want to sling it over to a bigger screen. You can easily do that. Um, you can also, you know, essentially it just turns your Mac into an AirPlay server. You can stream music to your Mac. So let's say you have music on your iPhone, but you want to play it on your Mac speakers. You can do that. And again, the big reason I use it is you can sling it over, mirror it on your desktop, and record easily with something like ScreenFlow, for example. You can uh, change some options here if you want. You can also go in the audio, and I recommend uh, you can uh, set some audio settings here if you want, uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later on. Display, you can show what display you want to pop up. It's very useful if you have multiple monitors like I do here. Mirroring, uh, you can opt it for, optimize it for whatever um, device you're having. For my case, it's usually the iPhone 5 here. And you can enable some of these options if you want to enable some of those as well. And of course, you have updates here. So when it sets audio, it can have it set its own audio stream. And I, you add that, add an extra lossless quality audio receiver. It's really great because what that does is it streams your, it slings over your audio also to your computer so that you can record the audio off of your iPhone app as well. And to you, uh, show here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my iPad here and I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. And I'm going to go into uh, AirPlay, and you just double tap your home button. And you need to have an AirPlay compatible uh, iOS device. Most of them are. I think only like the first gen iPads and lower iPhones and iPod touches aren't. You find uh, your computer name, and you just hit mirror. And you can see there, it's that simple. It pops up here, really easy, really flawless. And again, you get barely any lag. There's no lag at all that I can visually see on my iPad and uh, on the screen here. Again, it runs over Wi-Fi, so that kind of depends on your connection. But for the most part, it does a really good job of running smoothly. Again, you just double tap your home button here. You go into the farthest left of your app switcher, and you just go to this mirroring icon. You find your... Uh, computer name and you just hit mirror again this would be the same for Windows and then you just simply see your uh, device on screen and then you can use something like I said ScreenFlow to record it it's that simple it's really that easy uh, there are some limitations um, I mean stuff like camera works I mean it captures stuff like camera really easy you can actually see me here the reflection of my desk as I'm screen recording um, there is some cases where I mean like landscape works it, it's optimized if you flip into landscape and stuff like that but sometimes when if an app does a specific thing like a timer pops up on some alarm clock apps uh, it 
quickly briefs out of the like uh, it won't show up on your desktop for a second it only shows on the iPad so there you'll run into some apps that show don't show on the uh, desktop and uh, it doesn't airplay it over but uh, again for the most part it runs smooth it runs clean and again it slings audio over to the Mac as well so you can easily record computer audio with your screen recording to, uh, application of choice this is how you sling over an AirPlay, or this is how you make an AirPlay server essentially out of your computer. Really simple, really easy. Again, Air Server, all links will be in the video description, guys. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. I have a lot more content coming out. I have a lot more tutorials and uh, you know a lot more reviews and stuff coming out. So do subscribe for more content. And of course, head over to digitaldojos.com to keep up to date with all my latest blog posts and content over there. Thanks again.